Kroger has just come out and said grocery prices are headed higher this year. Uh, The Cincinnati-based Kroger company, which had $132 billion in sales, said inflation is running much hotter than management previously anticipated and expectations now for prices to rise another 2 to 3% over the second half of the year. Uh, Beef prices are already up 14%. Pork prices up 12%. Poultry is up 6%. Um, They say the uh, further increases at the checkout counter will put further pressure on consumers who are already dealing with the biggest annual increase in consumer prices since August of 2008. Now, let me give you something that's a little wonky, but very, very important because it goes to the credibility of the entire system. Last week, we reported that the Federal Reserve Bank ceased publishing the GDP report called GDP Now. This is what the financial industry has used forever uh, and also academic community, and it is the primary and most accurate and robust GDP forecast produced by either the U.S. government or the Federal Reserve Banking. So this is a really important number. All of your cost of living increases for the government and also everything that is going on for financial analysts to look at, this is the number that they look at for a forecast of what is coming. All right. What's notable is that the New York Fed's GDP Now model and data, it is also the oldest robust domestic product data set in the world for U.S. data. It does things like break out what parts of our GDP are private versus which is public spending. Another really important thing, how much is the private economy doing and how much is the the government doing? Now, it's, I guess, sort of old thinking these days. The notion that real GDP is what is produced and consumed by the real economy, you and me, of companies engaged in mutually beneficial commerce. So, you know... China has, uh, China includes the government in their official government spending. And that government spending makes up 55% of the GDP because that's the way communism works. They include all government spending in their GDP numbers. But in a free market, GDP, government spending is double counting. You don't do that in a, in a market where it's a free market. Because wealth is generated by the citizens, and that economic activity is GDP. When the government taxes some of that wealth, and then they spend it on stuff, roads, military, should that be counted as the gross domestic pot product? Some economists say yes, some say no. But listen, if your wife, you and your wife, make $100, and that's your net worth, Then your son needs $10 for a school project. Would you say that you have a net worth of $110? No. If this, you you wouldn't. But that's the way the government is doing it. So the New York Fed ceased publishing the GDP Now report without any sort of fanfare or press release. Just a notice last Friday, a week ago this last Friday, that it was no longer available, including all of the historical data. And the reason they gave was complexities created by COVID-19. I mean, it's just so hard. And then all of the excess government programs. I mean, we can't guarantee anything to be accurate. So COVID made it too hard. So the Fed just gave up. Well, as of this past Friday, notice this happened on the Friday before Labor Day. And then this event, which I'm about to tell you about, happened this Friday before 9-11. We might have a better answer on why the Fed's GDP report from New York is gone. The Atlanta Fed, 
Remember, there are 12 regional economic districts. Wow, 12 districts. Almost like in the Hunger Games. Well, the Atlanta Fed updated its uh, fourth quarter GDP forecast. They did it. And they have revised downward by 41%. So the projected GDP number is now down by 41%. Now, something like that would cause the economy and all the investors and everybody else to go into a tailspin. So what did they do? Well, when you know something's going to go cause the economy to go into a tailspin, you can either just say, well, that's the truth, or you can just hide it. You can just not, you can just not publish it. Now, this number was released by the Fed in Atlanta. It was done Friday, about 4 o'clock again in the afternoon. And we had 9-11, the overreach from Biden, the failures in Afghanistan, and nobody was paying attention. Again, we were. We're trying to watch the other hand. And this is really not good news. There is something wrong here. Very, very wrong. You can't spend your way out of this. And the Fed just sent us a very strong signal that they're starting to figure that out. Please get yourself into financial stability as much as you can. Please do the things that you need to do to be prepared for a dramatic downturn. Now, the government is going to be, you know, bailing everybody out. But just like in Australia, if you train people for two years like they are in Australia, just to take a paycheck from the government and do nothing, you have universal basic income and you have trained people, I like not working. I like not doing anything. And then you control the population. We can't allow this to happen. We cannot allow this to happen. And I don't think that you are getting the truth now anywhere close to the truth on the financial um, situation. You can be somebody who says, I believe the Federal Reserve and I believe the Treasury and there is no inflation coming and our economy is good. It's sound. And what we're doing with all this spending, my gosh, the Democrats should get their $3.5 trillion in additional spending because nothing Nothing weird is happening there. Or you can say, I will not comply, and I will make sure that I send people to Washington that do everything they can to stop this. I will make sure that I am out voting and calling my congressman and doing everything I can to make sure that my friends are awake to the fact that we're being lied to. I, for one, have made my choice. I, for one, serve God, not the government. I, for one, will not comply. You are being told you are not smart enough, you cannot figure it out, and you can't do anything personally except comply. That is a lie.